Hello. I'm doing one of my response to Alan static traveler vids. I can't help myself. Um, yeah, I love that video, Alan, of um, that Humphrey Lizelton, um, 78. Yeah, I've only, I've got one or two. Well, straight away, as soon as I saw it, before I even heard it, I thought that's an early 50s, late 40s, early 50s Parlophone. And uh, I have, I, I know I've got another one of these. Um, this is Bessie Smith. Backwater Blues. Backed with the fantastic nobody knows you when you're down and out yeah wow 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 uh, yeah that was awesome and uh, I always wonder why I, I, so I don't like Paul McCartney I almost gag you know start to dry wretch whenever I hear one of his voice or one of his songs and um, but I always liked um, Lady Madonna, even though I hated the, the stupid, jaunty, you know, <laughs> obla de obla da sort of thing. There was something about the piano on that. And then years later, of course, I found out it was a rip-off of Bad Penny Blues. Um, yeah, what a classic. I wish I had that on it. Yeah, great stuff. Good old Humph. Um, and the other thing, of course, was um, that, that Dark City book you showed. Man, am I jealous? Um, that's to me the, the, that's the, the the penultimate, the the epitome of greatness is the B movies, film noir. Specific, well, not specifically, but particular, le, 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 re, le, uh, American. There is some good French stuff, even some British. Um, uh, but it's usually too arty. I, I prefer the United States film noir. It's got the, they take from, it, of course, it, it comes from the German expressionism originally, of course, and, and even Moliere or something in France. And uh, I think the first movie ever made was an Australian movie, um, Ned Kelly. It, it's just, there's a dispute about it. Someone says there was a, movie made in the United States by the Salvation Army, um, which predates the Ned Kelly gang movie, which I think was, oh, it was very, 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 there's only fragments of it left, you know, just a few snippets. But uh, I, I'm a firm believer that the first moving picture ever to be shown in public was made in Australia. Anyway, enough of that. Um, Film noir from German Expressionism, of course. Um, I like the the American film noir simply because it takes the 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 the, um, the visual aspects of um, of uh, German Expressionism, um, weird camera angles, you know, distorted. You know, you, you know there's no need to explain it. The the look is is purely purely from German Expressionism, but I love it because the dialogue is hard boiled, down in the gutter sort of stuff. And without the, the arty pretentiousness, it, the, there's always a, a there's always a, a gritty, nasty, you know, life sucks and then you die reality about the American film noir. You know, there's no, I can't think of, there's no such thing as a, an American, as a, American film noir that had in any shape or form a happy ending or had any real romance. <laughs> I'm waffling. Um, that Dark City put me off. Alan, if you see this and you ever, ever see this book, okay, you mugs, get it. It is absolutely mind-bogglingly fantastic book. On the little Granta pocketbook, well, it's too heavy for a pocketbook, but Grant were a wonderful little publishing company back in the 90s. I don't know if they're still going, 
But it's just got everything here. Okay, you mugs. These are edited by Luke Sante and Melissa Holbrook Pearson. Okay, you mugs. Writers on movie actors. Granter Books, London. Uh, this just gives you a bit of an idea of the, 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 these are um, Timothy Carey. Now, if, if you know, don't know who Timothy Carey is, you'll he, he's one of those guys that have got has got that face. Uh, I, I got to show it. You'll know it when you see him. Timothy Carey. Um, just listen to this. This is how it starts. I'll, I'll cut these swear words a bit. My head is too fecking large. Full stop. My eyes. Dot, dot, dot. Jesus. Full stop. The lids group. Full stop. I look sleepy all the time. Full stop. My nose is okay. Comma, a little big, but not all that out of proportion, full stop. I can't breathe with it too well, so my mouth hangs open most of the time, full stop. Gives me the look of an idiot or a criminal, full stop, or an idiot criminal, full stop. How is that? A that is the start of this book. That's the quality of, of the writing in here. These are all, um, I'll quickly get off on the uh, Timothy, that was the, the start of the Timothy Carey tribute by Chris Sarkis. This is a Greek surname, obviously. The next one is Mitchum Gets Out of Jail by Dave Hickey. Endless Melody starring by Jonathan Williams. Barbara Payton, a memoir by Robert Polito. Now that is something else. She was an absolute stunner, you know, um, B movie actress, and her, she ended up as a, a, a the lowest, lowest, lowest um, prostitute and alcoholic. It was so awful. And talking of another alcoholic, Dana Andrews or the Male Mask. That is a good one. That is really good. Liz Taylor, Warren Oates, the man on the cover. You can never forget him in whenever he was in a movie, and he always had a bit part. That was it. He, he always somehow stole the show. One of those guys. Two Lane Blacktop. If you, I don't like James Taylor, and I don't like um, the Dennis Wilson out of the Beach Boys, but those two together in a sort of a 1970s film noir, you, you could say, even though it's in colour. Um, they're pro. They're, they're racing a souped-up hot rod around the, around America. You know, going to all the car shows to win money to keep travelling. And they're they're never, well. they the guy they are competing with to cross the USA. The fastest is Warren Oates. So if you've never seen Two Lane Blacktop, see it if you can. It is a masterpiece of seventies film noir. And James Taylor and Dennis Wilson are absolutely great in it. They, they just, they literally look like members of the Manson gang. You know, they're putting off such heavy vibes. And uh, they, they steal the show. Even poor old Warren Oates that has a hard time. I'm waffling. It's 8 minutes 52. Jean Moreau. There's a client of the actor. Oh, there's too many. Okay. Um, J.T. Walsh by Grail Marcus. If, if you, if, I can't describe this movie. Either no or you don't. Dan Duryea or Duraya. Yeah. Susie Cream Cheese Speaks by John Updike. Wow. With Jean Tierney in Paris. Thelma Ritter. Yeah. Oh, my fun. <laughs> oh, Christ. This is such a great, great, great book. So just, Alan, it's mainly to just to show you, you know, this is awesome. The writing is absolutely top, top, top quality. Anyway, uh, thank you for that video, uh, Alan. That was superb. It got me all excited.